All right, guys, uh, Sam back with you here Monday, July 23rd, middle of the day here. And since we did just a brief update on Bitcoin, uh, we put it up to a vote amongst our Twitter followers and let the let the uh, Twitter followers make that decision here. And so we did a little voting and polling and NEO to the U.S. dollar was the winner. So let's take a look at it now. <clears throat> No surprise here, the, the overall pattern is going to be somewhat similar to Bitcoin. So if, looking here now on a two hour here from our top up here at 200, I do have this labeled as a WXY, right? With the idea that the Y may very well be in here as we complete an, another ABC. So it's ABC down to our W wave, and then here's our X, then completing yet again another ABC. So question, of course, first thing to ask is, well, is it complete? Well, kind of, it's it's incomplete in terms of an unrealized algo target down here, but we do have some action here that's supporting the idea that we may very well be complete. Now we're gonna dig into the wave count here because we've gotta, we've gotta confirm this pivot as a contender for a hard low. So what do I mean by that? So <clears throat> if I just grab my, from my X wave here down to my proposed A wave here, well, you can see for the B, I've come just a couple of ticks shy of the 50. So classic algo trade there. So that's them front running, <clears throat> a little software here, front running the, the, the pivot here at the 50. So if we look now, <clears throat> this is what I mean by unrealized. We have a target down here at 1990 that's unrealized. Now, as I will remind you, just because we have a target doesn't mean the market must go there, but there is a piece of software that sold that there that's just gonna sit with it until it gets there, or they get stopped out here on the other side of the 65. <clears throat> Sorry. So let's uh, let's dig into this. Well, if this is A and this is B, so much like Bitcoin, and you, as you'll recall from those videos that we did, we have to trade this as on the smaller degree. Let me get this. Um, here we have to play this as an A with a with a B here and then a very shallow C wave here. Let's get that uh, down here. Something we can manage. So we, we have to trade this as an ABC, very much like the Bitcoin B wave up here. Now coming down, got a little tricky here. So this took a little it takes a little work, right? So this stuff takes work. I'm not I'm not here to tell you this is easy. So you've got to go, you've got to be willing to dig in here and work through this, th work through your proposed count so that you qualify it. Otherwise, you know, what's the point, right? So if you're not going to do the work, I would, I would propose to you, don't, don't approach the market with Elliott Wave because it requires some work. So if you're not willing to do it, you know, this may not be the right video for you. So from our pivot up here, <clears throat> we're trying to qualify this if this is a B. And, and we're trying to qualify this as a good low down here. Well, we've got to, if that's my B, I've got to get five out of this. Well, there's a lot of complexity here. So it would appear that in blue here, I get a one, two, then down here in blue to my three, four, and we finish the one wave. So we have what appears to be an extension in the one wave, but not, not terribly uncommon. <clears throat> All the subdivision is there. So one, two, then I had to get five into my third down here. So I can get a one, two, here's my three down here and it's all been measured and I've worked through it here. I'll, uh, you know, I guess I think I can spare you that detail here. It, into a, a fourth and then we come down in five for our third, pardon me, for the fifth of the fifth of the third working off of this high. So I've got a one, two, three, it, then I get a shallow. So if we take this off, we know we went right to the 50. So from that, just to clear up the chart, if I come here, if this is my, whoop, wrong one. If I take my two and I come here for my four, where well, I'm right between, right, right to the Vegas wave between the 23 and the 38, right where I'd look for the four. And then note here, we come right to algo target. Boom, we get a reaction. So kind of leans me into this count here. So here's where it's a little bit of a, a conundrum. If that's a completed one wave, well, we have to allow for yet, a, a, again, a very shallow second wave. Now, we're in the 10 to 12% of the time here if we consider when a, a retracement is that shallow, what percentage of the time, where it's 10 to 12%, we'll get a wave two that will only do the 23.6 as we do here, damn near to the tick. So in an extension, the shallowness of the two wave doesn't surprise me terribly. Now we do get, what's interesting here is from the 23 and 
you know, I can't explain it. I don't know that that's an algo doing a pretty substantial front run, but we get to tar <clears throat> target here, test it twice, we get a little bounce, and then we're two and through. But, you know, that's not to be ignored. So if I look at that and think, okay, if that's one, two, and I come down here to this target for the three, well, I've got to measure that to make sure that my three, four, and five, remember my third wave can't be my shortest. Well, I've got this long one wave, so I've got to check my three and my proposed five down here as I have this one, two, three, A, B, C into a four, and then coming down to complete my five. All right, well, you might think, okay, well, that's all well and fine this all lined up here but given the length of the one I got to check the three and the four to make sure that they're not shorter so all I'm going to do is take the length of my three projected from my proposed four and you can see here we just bake 60 well call it 62 percent the length of the third from the proposed four into the five <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> So that, that plays. So I have an extension in the one down for the two, three, four, and five that all fits, giving me a, certainly a contender here for a pivot to complete my C wave and complete my Y wave of a WXY. So go, I have gone through, qualified every pivot there. I do have a contender here. Well, coming off of this as a potential low, why well, go boom right into an impulsive five? So that's a contender for a one. So let's let's dig into that here as we get over to the hard right edge. Well, I'm pretty doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to see that I've got a pretty clean five wave here. So even just basic, if I just take the come here, if I can get that hot, if I get for my two to my three, what do we do here? Well, we come right where we'd expect it here. Here's come to the 38. We all we get a little wick through it, come down maybe a little poke at the at the Vegas wave, then two through we get third target here. So <clears throat> it looks like a pretty good clean five, which would suggest a one wave. So the the alternate would have been if this were not finished, and we so for example if we were trying to anticipate a move down to 19.9 to get that algo target, well then you might might think of this. Well maybe I don't have this right. We're not done here, and then this is some sort of a corrective action into a into a a four before we go down for a five. Well, considering how clean that five is, the only scenario would have been that we had something along these lines, that we, if I can get this hot here, that this could have been A, we went down for the B, we're going up for the C before we go all the way back down to that 19.9. Well, if we put that into broader context of where we've been, boy, that... It, it, it just the symmetry isn't right here. So if this is our one and this were our two, well, there's not too many other ways we could count this. We'd have to be going three, four, and we couldn't overlap the two. We'd have to be doing something like that. So the the two relative to the four are just all wrong. So I just don't think that that's what's happening here. So given this nice one wave I get here and this just textbook ABC, let's go back down there and. <clears throat> give that a check. Well, so this this can't be any any prettier here, right? In terms of just out, uh, Elliot 101, we trend in fives, we correct in threes. Well, there, there we go. That's pretty solid. Even here from my, I go to my A wave here, 38 to the tick. Now that's shallow for a B wave, granted. Here we get algo target. We're sort of in no man's land here. So now you got to check from the other side. Well, let's see, we know a two wave can easily go 618 or anywhere from the 50 to the 786. So if I just grab my tool here, working from my swing low. Well, <clears throat> so I've got an ABC. I got a pretty good move here in my C wave. It takes me through the 786. Let me get you, uh, let's see what I want to get you hot here. So we, we have a contender. We know occasionally in a deep move we can get the 887. So I put that on. So all right. So we're we hold the eight eight seven. So it's a contender for a two. Ideally, you'd you'd have a let you'd have between the idea six one eight and the seven eight six would be perfect. But we get a little spike through it. If you come down here, so, but it's still, you know. So I've got a, a a candidate here for a one two. Well, as we move off of that, if that's going to hold, well, if this is going to go into a motive wave, I've got to get. To looks like I've got three, four, five. So it looks like I've got yet another five wave structure here. Well, but we've gone deep yet again. So interestingly, we come here to the 786. So let's just think about what, what might be happening. If that's one and this is my two is in, well, all I've done here is go, go into a one, two of 
my this would be the one wave of my third wave of the larger degree. So let me see if I can put that in context so you can see it. So if this is one here, right, and this completed five would just be the one wave of my third wave. So all of this has to move up higher. So let's measure. So if we take the uh, wrong one, I want this one. So if I take the length of my one wave projected from my two, right here. Well, 100%, that's my qualifier. Where I'm looking for it is here between the 1618 and the 175. That's the most probable target if we're going to get a third here. We don't know for sure that we are, but it's a candidate. So what else can I do? Well, of course, if I've got three pivots, I'm look, I'm checking for median lines. So I'm going down all the way down here. Now I have a, a modified shift on there. It's kind of interesting here that we've got our one wave coming up a little shy of the of the median line that actually would suggest weakness. So this this move down here looks like I may have an looks like I might have an A B C going in. We got so we have to be careful about this. If you're a bull here, let's go, let's go to original recipe here and see how that looks. Original would put us here. So yes, now we're we're coming outside of it. That's not ideal. So let's let's go down. Let's go down to a thirty minute here and see if we can make sense of this, of where we are here in this bit of it. So let me. I'm going to take this off because it's. We'll get. Oh, I like this one here. Will work better if the other is problematic. Okay, so let's get that lightened up. Okay, so there we go. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I, I this could be. Let's let's look at it. So this could be. Come here. A, B, C. Well, I don't love that. So let's let's refer. Let's let's think that about that again. This looks more like I've got one, two, three, four, maybe five going in down here. It's hard to call it here. This this looks more like a diagonal, and we four doesn't overlap. So I let's see. So what what are my other alternatives here? I could have one, two. Let's measure it. So here is on the fly. This, was not looking at Neo to the dollar here. So you get these just as I would were I doing it myself. So here's the other contender. So there's three, four, right? So we qualify for a third. So one other alternate is that I've got <clears throat> my A wave is in. This little three wave here is my B. So we'd be trading this here now as A, B, looking for a C down here. Let's Take that up a degree. We'll go to yellow since it's corrective. Okay, so let's get that in micro. <clears throat> and think about that. All right, so if this is if this is coming back up, if that's my A wave here, well, I'm shallow for the B again. All right, so we're yet yet again a shallow B wave. We've seen lots of uh, we've seen very deep and very shallow twos and Bs, just making it all that more problematic as we struggle to get get a handle on whether or not we do indeed have a new trend established here. Let me just tighten these up here. So if it, so, we can't go too far here, right? So if this is my A, we, we've got to be conscious of where we overlap the two here. That would invalidate this count. Then we have to reconsider what we're what we've currently got labeled. But if this is going down for a C, I could you know here's my well. Let's put a pivot on it. Let's put a marker on it. Can't go below that. All right. So if we're gonna go one two, this looks like this could be. One, two, that, even that looks kind of ugly here. So we may end up with a truncated C. Wouldn't surprise me, but we don't really want to see a triangle here. We don't want a triangle in the second if we're trying to play that as a second. So I, I would rather see this come down here in double bottom in this fashion here. So what's our minimum? We could look for the one, pardon me, for the 618 of the length of the A projected from the B. That's going to be tight here. So this is going to need to hold. Tricky one. It's not. It's not the ideal way that you'd want to see that unfold for this to play as a one, and this to be a two going in. Now, you know, I mean, even if I go down to the 15 minute, this is going to be. Yeah, this is just a little squirrely. So <clears throat> when I see that, with so all I see here is now, and all you're hearing from me is hesitation because I'm not sure. I don't get. I don't have a good looking C wave here and I just have kind of this uh, chop session. So first thought is, well, of course, when in doubt, stay out, don't force it. So if you're looking for the entry here, 
well, you got, you got to be careful on this because we just don't have good clarity. So you have a low probability trade setting up here. We have, so this is kind of wishful thinking. We want this, right? So if you're a bull, you want this to be one, two. But if you go down and work through it, you, you've got to consider the opposite scenario here. If we take this out here, that cannot be a one wave. So, well, then we got to look at it and say, well, could that be an ABC? And that, that's the, that we're starting now in five to go down to new lows. Well, now you got to back the whole thing all the way back out. So let's go back to, out to a three hour and see, well, would that make sense? That means that we'd have, oh, this would, that we'd, we'd have to relabel the whole thing. So this would have to be likely trading as one, two, three, four. We'd be finishing with a diagonal as we'd clearly have the overlap of a one. I don't like that as much, but having worked through all of that, we've, we've got to consider it as a possibility. So now we're kind of rooting for the, oh, uh, you know, if you're a bull here, you're rooting for the truncated C, which I don't, I don't love that thought, but one more time, we'll dig in here and see if I have any kind of a swing relationship I can work with here. This is the lowest low I've gone. I've gone to the 786. Yeah, it's just, it's a little bit of a, it strikes me as wishful thinking here. So I would, I would just not trade it until I get more clarity. So yeah, I could have, oh, this could be some sort of an A, B, C going in here. It's just, it's just too hard to call it right now. So why force, right? So cl clearly you can, you can hear the hesitation in my voice is I can't get a handle on what we have here. This looks like five, three, but this too messy to trade. Why? Why? It's just a guess. And, and if anything, all you're doing is imposing your bias on it here. Now, if this starts to move and we come off of this, if we start to move from here and we get something like this, all right, well then plenty of opportunity to trade in that. If we're So here you'd need to wait for the four to the five to get into that. So could this be an A, B, boy, that would be an ugly looking C. So we'd, we'd have to be uh, maybe you could do it this way into a C down here. Even that is just, it's just ugly. I, I just don't like it. So again, wh wh why force a trade if you don't like what you're seeing here? So I'm struggling to get a count on that. Even, even this, just trying to pull swing low to swing high. You know, this is not enough there. I, I just, no trade as far as I'm concerned. So th there's as much analysis as I can offer you as to where we are, but w a low probability scenario. So my advice would be wait. Why try and force a trade there without any clarity on what, what the, so look what I've got here. I've got a five followed by a five, and then I have a lack of clarity. So until I get more certainty as to what's happening here or a trade that sets up where I can just play a straight algo pull, my advice would be no trade there until we get clarity. All right, so that's <clears throat> that's 17 minutes. That's about as much. <clears throat> God damn. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Allergies are so bad here in the summer. All right, so that five followed by five. We wait for more clarity here. This is one I would be watching more, nothing else, just out of curiosity to see how this resolves. But I don't know what, what more I can offer to you on that. So there you go. We'll wait for more clarity. That's what I can offer to you. Be my suggestion. All right, guys, there's a wrap. Uh, give us a follow over on Twitter. Right, so you guys on Twitter, you're the ones who picked this analysis here. So I hadn't even looked at it before I saw that poll. So one, one to watch, uh, if you'd like to learn more how to do this and maybe keep yourself out of a bad trade or help yourself identify where the probabilities are working for you, give us a, a visit over on our website at tradedevils.com. You can learn more about what we offer to you there. We also have a public Discord, right? So the members, they get access to the full members Discord, but we have a, a kind of a trial version of it where you can just, uh, you'll have access to a few channels and you, you'll find that information and that link underneath the video. So if you're interested in that, that's a good place to maybe put a foot in the water and just see uh, what it's like over on that Discord and engage with some other members. You'll see... Um, well, a lot of commentary. You'll see some testimonials from existing members, some things that might help you evaluate whether or not you would find this to be a good use of your time and resources. All right, guys, with that, I will call it a wrap here, and we'll be back to visit with you again tomorrow. Okay.